Hey, today I am going to be going over Myers-Briggs compatibility in this little chart. Um, there will be traffic sounds in the background and I will be using colored pencils to fill in this grid that I've made. Um, and maybe a little bit of marker sound down here to make a um, kind of code. I have this manila envelope below it just so that the colored pencil isn't too um, strong of a sound on top of the table, like directly on top of the table. So I was just thinking actually that I should have a code here um, of what the colors are going to mean. So the best match obviously is ideal. Then we have strong potential, like it has potential. It can work with a little more work, maybe. And we have a weak match. And then we have a conflictive match. So, these are the colored pencils I have. Um, conflictive match going to be black, meek will be blue, we have potential is yellow, strong is green, so kind of gradient, and then um, a red heart for ideal. So that's our little code there. So now I'm going to start with the ideal matches. You'll also notice the chart up here. The types, the 16 Meyer, Myers-Briggs types, are categorized by um, group. So these are the analysts, then the sentinels, then the diplomats, and finally the explorers. So some ideal matches are INFP with ENTJ, we also have ISTJ with ENTP, as well as ISFJ with ENTP. In some of the other compatibility videos I'm going to do, I can say a bit more commentary about who is a good match and why. Um, but with Myers-Briggs, it's kind of overwhelming to consider 16 types with 16 other types. So the ones I can speak to are the ones that I've personally experienced. Um, so this may be, in a good way, a bit more monotonous as a video with a little less commentary. Also up here we have ISFP with ENTJ. Match, an ideal match. For INTJ, we have ESTP and ESFP. Then we have INTP with ESFJ. and ISFJ and ENFJ. 
also in other systems, the compatibility makes a kind of pattern often, but with Myers-Briggs it really doesn't, so. For ESTJ, we have INFP. Also, we have ISFP. For ESFJ, we have INTP. And you'll see that they're reciprocated, the rows and the columns, right? So, in the INTP, yeah. ESFJ also with ISFP. And we have, or rather, ISTP. Yeah. And with ISTJ, we have ENTP. as well as ENFP. Then we have something similar for ISFJ, where it's ENTP again. And um, ENFP plus third one, which is, I believe, yeah, INTP. For INFJ, we have INTP as an ideal match. And also ISTP. For INFJ, we have three over here, which are ISTP, ESFJ, um, I'm sorry, I, ESTP, ESFP, and ISTP. For INFP, we have ENTJ. And ESTJ. And then for ESTP, we have an INTJ. Um, same as for ESFP, and the ESTP also connects with INFJ, as we just saw, as does the ESFP, as does the ISTP. Um, the ISTP also has an ideal match with ES, ESFJ. And the ISFP has an ideal match with ENTJ. And also ESTJ. So these are all the ideal matches based on Myers-Briggs type.
Next, I'm going to fill in the conflictive matches. So we have ENTJs together, not great. Also not great with um, ESFJ, nor with ISFJ. Um, the ENTP is not great with ESFP, nor ISFP. INTJ is not great with ESFJ, nor ISFJ, just like the ENTJ. Um, let's see what else. INTP is not great with ESFP or ISFP. So we have little kind of like pairings here and here. Then not great for ESTJ is ESTJ is the ENFJ and the INFJ, which is me, and the ESTP. Um, ESFJ is not great with ENTJ or the INTJ. And that's it. ISTJ, on the other hand, is not great with ENFJ or INFJ. ISFJ is not great with ENTJ or INTJ and also not with ISFP. Yeah. ENFJ has a conflictive match with ESTJ and also ISTJ. ENFP is not great with um, the same three that um, INFJ are so good with. And an INFJ is not good with ESTJ. Also not good with um, an INFP. INFP is not good with an INFJ, as we just discussed, nor a ESTP. Is there anything else? No. Uh, ESTP is not great with the ESTJ. Also not with the ENFP, also not with the INFP, and the ESFP doesn't like or has a conflictive match with ENFP as well, as does the ISTP, and ISTP also has a conflictive match with the INFP, yeah. ESFP also has conflictive matches with INTP and ENTP. Mm -hmm. ISTP we have covered. ISFP has a conflictive match with ENTP. Also INTP. Um, and also ISFJ. So those are our conflictive matches. 
And then I guess we'll go down from here. So we have ideal, we have conflicted, our best and our worst. So we'll start now with strong. So ENTJ, we have ESFP, sorry, ESTP and ESFP are both good strong matches. For ENTP, it's ESFJ and ESTJ. Good strong matches, also ENTP. Mm. And then for INTJ, we have a strong match with INTJ with INFP and also ISFP. For INTP, strong match with EST, ESTJ. And INFJ. And that's it. For ESTJ, it's um, ENTP and INTP. For ESFJ, a strong match with also ENTP. And ENFP. ESFJ, ENFP, ENFP. Cool. For ISTJ, got a strong match over here with INFP. And also ISFP. ISFJ has it with ISTP. ENFJ has a strong match with ENFJ. ENFJ with ENFP, ENFJ here. And let's see where else. Also with ESTP and um, ESFP. Then we have ENFP, which has it with ESTJ and ESFJ. Mm, that's it. INFJ has it with INTP. I'm sorry, with INFJ has it with, yeah, INTP. And also, that's it. INFP uh, has it with INTJ and ISTJ and INFP IS oh I missed some hearts in here and some and one conflicted back. So, INFP, yeah that's it. ESTP has it with ENTJ. Also with ENTJ is, sorry, ESTP with ENTJ. Also ESFP with ENTJ. ESTP also has it with ENFJ. And again, same with ESFP. For ISTP, got a strong match with ISFJ here, and that's it. And for ISFP, we have one with INTJ, and also with ISTJ, and that's it. So, backtracking for a second, ENFP so we did INFJ's hearts, ENFPs we missed, and they are with ISTJ, so here, and also ISFJ, so here. Yeah. And there's a conflicted match for INFJ with ISTJ. 
okay in addition to the others. Okay. Um, now let's do weak matches, and then we'll finish it out with potential, which is in the middle. So, here we have ENTJ, ENTP, weak match, also ESTJ, also ISTJ, also ENFJ. Once you take the, the good matches out, things get bleak. ENTP, we got ENTJ. We also got uh, ENFP here. And we got ESTP. And also ISTP. So you gotta find the right match, you know? More weak matches for INTJ. We have INTP. Uh-huh, right here. And ESTJ. And that's it. Then for INTP, we have it for INTJ. And a bunch down here for INFP. Yeah, INFP. Weak match. Also with uh, ESTP. Weak match. Also with ISTP. Weak match. Weak matches for ESTJ are ENTJ and INTJ and ESFJ ES ESFJ and that's it then we have a weak match for ESFJ with um, ESTJ because they're like that and what else? also ESFP Let's see. For ISTJ, weak match with ISTP, and also ISFJ. Mm -hmm. And also ENTJ. For ISFJ, the weak matches are here. So we have ENFJ, weak match, ISFJ, weak match, ISTJ, weak match. This is also a weak match, the ENFJ with the ISFJ, as well as the ENTP, and um, the ENFP too. A little lost, hang on. Oh, also the ISFJ is weak with INFJ. And this one, this is the weak one that I accidentally almost made green, but cracked it. So this is blue for weak, which is the ENFJ with the ENFP. Weak matches for ENFP are the ENTP. And also the ENFP. J, here, it's hard they're a little big, but that's okay, and the INFP here. Then for the INFP weak matches, we have the INT, wait, for the INFP a weak match is the INTP in here. So this guy got to scoot over a little bit. This should be sc scooted over to in between these. So we'll just leave that there. And also this guy INFP weak match with ENFP and also with um ESFP, ISTP, and ISFP. For ESTP, weak matches with ENTP and INTP. And ESTP. And also over here with ESFP. Got 
really much for ESFP. We have lead matches with ESFJ. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right here. ESFJ. And also, got a bunch over here. INFP. Also, um, ESTP, also ESFP, all weak matches. For the ISTP, a weak match is the ENTP. Another weak match is INTP. The INTP, yeah. So, this blue dot goes in line with this one, and this heart should go there. Um, another weak match is the ISFJ, and then over here, ISF, ISTP and ISFP, both weak matches. And finally, for the ISFP, we have a weak match with the INFP and the ISTP. I think that's it. Okay, making progress. So now I'm going to go through and mark the final squares as potential. So these are matches that could work with enough work put into them, enough effort. Of course, every relationship is work to some extent. Um, but maybe these these can, can hack it, it just takes a little more um, to, to do it. And certainly I would not say to double checking that these are all potential matches as I fill it in. Here, these are all in the line. These are all good with a green and a yellow and a yellow and a yellow. Um, again, this blue guy goes here, this heart goes here. Thank you for bearing with me. Oh, I missed a weak match is here with the INFJ and the ESFJ. It's weak. Um, let's see. That one here. It's going to be a heart, a black, a yellow, a yellow, and a heart here. So this heart goes here. This heart goes here. The ESTJ got a little bit, but we're good. So, I also wouldn't say to, you know, break up with someone just because a chart like this says you're not uh, compatible, but I do think that it can be helpful in um, navigating the differences sometimes or putting names to differences that you might experience and all of these schematics useful anyway for, you know, no matter what kind of relationship you have, be it platonic or romantic or familial, I think the schematics and systems like personality tests are best um, when
can use to better understand the way people think so we can support each other and communicate better. This thing is, is a good match. Um, ISTP and ISTP and ENFJ. So it's good to fill these in. Yellow, 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 like this. Okay. Um, also, you can see how much black and blue and yellow there is, uh, which is just a testament to to uh, really appreciating a good thing when you have it as well, right? Because it can be hard to find people you genuinely connect with. Um, so when you do, you really want to take care of those relationships. Um, yeah, to my mind, they're just it's the kind of work that is really worth it. A limited number of close people, people close to me, just because that's what I can handle best, and in part too because um I am just always trying to put the most I can into the good people in my life. Um, so to have too many is kind. really pretty, the chart. The only thing is, here, this is a heart. This little guy got a little messed up. This heart should be here, and this heart should be here. So it goes red, black, yellow, yellow, red, and this blue here, and this black here. Otherwise, we are finished. So, I hope this was relaxing for you, or fun for you, to consider the people in your life who are important to you, um, and just reflect on all of our differences, our different ways of thinking and being and acting, and, um, you know, not to sound corny, but the beauty in that. I hope you sleep really well. And have a really great day, if it's day for you, and I will see you very soon.